Now we'll go to run. We'll open up a command prompt. Okay, it's time to get netcat listening. So what we'll do is we'll run nc dash verbosely listen on port 4489. Okay, so it's now listening any port. And just to double check that it's listening, what we can do is we could run another command prompt and type netstat all right and then we could say find s tunnel or find 4489 and you can see that it is in fact listening on 4489 okay and it should also be listening on 44 88 so netcat is listening on 4489 and s tunnel is listening on 4488 so now if we go back to our graphic we have s tunnel listening on 4488 we have netcat listening on 4489 and now all we need to do is try to connect and see if we can send encrypted traffic across so i've opened up a um, backtrack machine here and I'll just fire open this and what I want to do is I want to um, locate first thing I could do is I can do an update DB to update all of my files so I can search my directories and after I do that I'm gonna locate my config file for S tunnel okay well now that that's done will locate s tunnel dot conf alright there it is and what we can do is we can edit that copy that and I'll run g edit to take a look at our s tunnel dot conf file now for this stunnel.com file, the previous time that I did it, um, well, I'll talk about that in a second. The other thing that we're going to need to do is we're going to have to set up um, networking to make sure that we can even communicate with our XP client over here. Our XP client is located at 4.104, right? And right now on our backtrack client, we probably don't even have network set up right so let's set that up right now so what we'll do is if config we have eth1 here which we're going to need to set up to be on the same network so we'll say if config eth1 and we'll give it an IP address 192.168.1 four dot we'll say one ten slash twenty four all right okay so that looks good now we have four dot one ten and then we'll say route add default gateway 192.168.4.1 and then we'll set up our name server echo name server 192.168 in this case dot fifty dot one you'll have to put in your name server and we'll out that, output that to etc resolve dot conf all right We'll test to see if we can ping Yahoo. All right, and we can't. Right now I'm using a bridged network adapter and it's probably bridging to my wireless NIC on my laptop. 
so I'm probably going to have to change that. So let's see if we can get that fixed. I'll go to Start, Computer, Program Files, vmnetconfig.exe and it's set to my wireless so I'm going to need to change that. We'll set that to the PCIe Gigabit Family Controller here Realtek PCIe GBE Family Controller. We'll hit apply and click OK. And now we can try to ping Yahoo. And now you can see that we get a message from Yahoo. So we're now up. We'll cancel that. OK, so now I'm going to go back to my S-Tunnel comp file on my Linux machine here. And you can see here that I've changed a few things. I've changed the SSL version to TLS v1, okay, um, and if you go down here, now I'm not going to be using the server mode, right, I'm going to be using client mode. So you can see here that SSL client mode, I've set client, I've uncommented this and set it TS, so there's no semicolon here. Then I've put NCAT here, I typed this in here and we're going to accept on let's say we're going to accept on let's say 44 88 and connect on 44 89 okay so that is the same way we've configured it on the other side right and so we'll save that so that looks good and notice how it says here the RIP address that we're going to accept on 127.0.0.1 on 4488 and we're going to connect and we need to see who we're going to connect to here so I'm going to put in to 4.104 which is the client on the other end the Windows XP client that we want to connect to right now our XP client has been set up to um, accept on 4488 and connect on 4489 as well. So let's see here. And I'm not sure if that's going to work. That configuration doesn't seem to make much sense. So we'll go back to the backtrack client and we'll switch that around. So we'll say, no, we're going to connect on 4488 and accept on 4489. So kind of the opposite. And we'll hit save. And we'll open up a terminal and run S-Tunnel. Now our OpenSSL certificate's already been established. Now we can run a netstat. And we'll pipe it to grep looking for S tunnel. How about 4489? Okay. Let's run a netcat and we'll connect to 127.0.0.1 on 4489. hello right so we've typed in this message we've got a connection to 4489 we're connecting to s tunnel through netcat 
and on our Windows client we can see that we've received a hello. Let's see if we can say something back. Hello from XP. Alright, and then we'll go back to our Backtrack client and you can see that we have received our netcat message from the XP client, right? And it's going through, and this message is going through um, S tunnel. So it, not only is it a communication going across the network, but it's also been encrypted with a layer of encryption through OpenSSL. Now I'm back in my um, XP client here. I want to address one other thing. Now, if S tunnel will not start up because it, you haven't created your certificate and you need to create your certificate, you can put in this command right here to create your certificate. So I just wanted to put that up here. Okay. So you could put in this command right here and that would create your RSA 2048-bit stunnel.pem file that you're going to need to run it. Now, to do this, what you'd have to do is, if you go into a command prompt, let's say, and you type in open SSL, like I'm saying to do right here in that Word file, right? Let's see here. Open SSL, the an opening argument, the command is open SSL. If you type that in here, it's not going to register it. So what you'll have to do is you'll have to navigate first through your directories. Start computer C drive. There it is. Open SSL. So what you'd want to do is is first go to your OpenSSL folder, so there it is. So we'll change directory into C colon backslash OpenSSL. And then inside of it, we're looking for, let's say, the bin file. Change directory to the bin file and whoops and there is the program openssl.exe so now if you type in openssl and type in this command right here you'll create your certificate and then you'll have to copy your certificate your stunnel.pem file into your stunnel directory now in backtrack it's a lot easier all you have to do is type in openssl 